Hey, hi, if you want to learn more about what partners are doing with IoT technologies from Microsoft and their customers, uh, we have a new episode on the IoT show for you with uh, Johannes from Copa Data. Thank you. <music>Hi, this is the Internet of Things show. I'm Olivier, your host. Uh, today we have Johannes from uh, uh, from uh, Europe. Just actually flew from Europe, right? That's okay. correct. I kind of like Mart a little, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, you're not. You look great. Uh, so, uh, Coupa Data, we, we work for, uh, is one of our uh, top partners. And uh, today we're going to talk about what you as partners are doing to help our customers. Uh, you know, connect the, uh, the the cloud world to their world, right? So we're going to talk about uh, in industry type of scenarios. We're going to talk about CD, uh, smart CDs type of things as well. Uh, but first, before we get into that, uh, can you actually tell us who you are and who Copa Data is actually? Yeah. First of all, it's a pleasure being here, Olivier. Thanks for having us. Um, Copa Data itself is a software um, provider, software company. Um, yeah. We develop a software platform which mm -hmm. is called Xenon. Mm -hmm. And we are basically coming from the industrial automation world. Uh, so we have very deep knowledge around industrial processes, especially within manufacturing and also public sector world, so to say, for smart city solutions, as you already mentioned. Yeah, yeah. And uh, basically, we're leveraging the Asia Cloud Platform to deliver very powerful industrial IT applications for these two worlds, basically. Yeah, yeah, because we do provide solutions. We do provide SaaS and PaaS solutions mm -hmm. that make it easy to create an IoT application. But integrating these into a customer, into an actual application that has a dedicated purpose, mm -hmm. something that actually requires someone who knows the two worlds, the world of the cloud of Microsoft, and these mm. kind of technologies, the IT world, and the word of that industry, that vertical, right? Absolutely. That's also kind of what we want to do. We want to really guide them through the digital transformation. Mm -hmm. And what we see quite a lot, both manufacturing companies but also public organizations, they're still struggling a lot to actually acquire all the information from the existing infrastructure. Okay. You know, just imagine they have infrastructure that is 20, 30, 40 years old. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of legacy systems, heterogeneous hardware landscapes, they want to integrate to, you know, a complete solution. Mm -hmm. And this is something we can provide very well uh, with our software Xenon in combination with the Microsoft Asia Cloud Platform. Yeah. And also for the years to come, if they want to invest into new infrastructure, you know, you need to have a solution in place that can actually deliver that. Yeah. This is interesting what you mentioned because this is something that people from software I'm not super familiar with. Mm. People were building industrial automation and this kind of systems yeah. and smart city systems and so on. Yeah. This equipment have to leave for 20 years, absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely. It's a complete different investment cycles, you know. Uh, but you still want to integrate this, you know. You want to yeah. have a, a company-wide overview of what's going on and do improvements on a company-wide basis. Um, so it's really important to in integrate those proprietary systems as well. Okay, so what do you see the key scenarios, the key things that these customers are implementing and how are you guys helping them to do that? Yeah, after having this access to this you know, real-time inf information from the infrastructure, mm -hmm. it's really about remote monitoring control solutions you put okay. on top um, to, for example, improve the overall equipment effectiveness for, for manufacturing companies mm -hmm. on a you know, global scale uh, or, for example, trying to reduce the energy consumption you know, across your uh, organization, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and after that, Predictive analytics is kind of seen as the holy grail for, for most of those organizations. Okay. Not only in terms of predictive maintenance, but also in terms of predicting you know, consumption of available resources like electricity or water, and also predicting the quali product quality at the end of a production process. You, know, you want to mm -hmm. reduce the, the amount of waste at the end of a production process. And also uh, that's exactly where artificial intelligence can help. Uh, in the form of Asian machine learning, for, for example. Okay. Do you see scenarios where actually these customers are integrating, um, you know, data coming from different devices, coming from different manufacturers, right? So mm -hmm. basically, you see these scenarios where you have a, an heterogeneous like set of devices, mm -hmm. and they want to collect all that data, so they have to implement their own solution because these custom-made solutions for each of these manufacturers might not actually work together. Yeah, right? that's right. That's absolutely right. That's also the reason why we provide from our side 300 communication protocols and drivers that allow us to connect to all these different you know, vendors and systems, yeah. both hardware and software. And I, th I think that's very powerful, especially in combination yeah. with the Microsoft Asia that's Cloud Platform. That's one, one of your uh, superpowers as a partner, actually, to be in yeah. between these worlds. And you're able, actually, to offer that value add, that huge value add of that integration of these various types of devices from different providers, different manufacturers to actually deliver to that customer the ability to, to collect all that data and do the analytics then. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, Some example. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Um, well, 
If we stick to the manufacturing world, I think uh, there's a, a huge chance, especially for machine builders out there and OEMs to, for example, create new businesses. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you just think about, um, for example, uh, machine builder within the food and beverage industry. You know, they're producing machines for maybe filling, you know, PD bottles or glass okay. bottles. Okay. And if they want, you know, they want to provide, uh, for example, predictive maintenance service to their end customers out there, uh, they can actually do this by leveraging Xenon in, in combination with the Microsoft Asia Cloud Platform. Okay. Um, and uh, not only that, they can actually understand in a much better way under which conditions those machines operate at the end custom side, you know, and feed this information back into their own production, innovation, and development processes, which is very helpful as well. Okay, so basically, you come in the game, they have an equipment, you, they have sensors mm -hmm. collecting data. Mm -hmm. You you connect these devices into Azure. Exactly. Gather the data, implement the analytics in 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 uh, collaboration with these customers, and then provide them with what they need to improve their production process, but also to innovate on this product. Absolutely, line. that's correct. That's correct. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Uh, so I think you also had an example on some smart city scenario, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, actually, it's. Uh, one project we have implemented uh, in India mm -hmm. and was implemented by a company called Samudra LED in, com in collaboration with uh, a, co a partner company of ours uh, called Presimetrics. Okay. And what they actually did is they implemented a street lighting project uh, for the city of Jaipur. And what they did is actually they replaced uh, 100,000 street lights across mm -hmm. the city in order to reduce uh, the energy consumption. Of course, uh, you can argue now, if I use LED lamps, I mean, they're saving energy yeah, yeah. anyway. Yeah. Uh, but um, more than that, they actually um, are now in a position to collect this real-time information coming from those light bulbs mm -hmm. across the city, manage that, control that, and uh, actually um, you know, increase the efficiency of those light bulbs out there. But could it be as in like scheduling when they're on and off in a better way? Yeah, and then dim the light, for example, <laughs> uh, you know, in various conditions and things like that, all to, to save energy. And actually, they, they had a quite a hard ta high target to, to meet. Okay, um, which, was? which was? Do we have some numbers? Yeah, 77% actually was the target. Yeah, 77% um, Redu reduction, reduction in consumption? consumption. Yeah, that's that's just huge. Yeah, and after implementation, they actually achieved a reduction of 80%, which is really impressive. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Well, we should be happy, right? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You're leveraging the, the, yeah. the Azure platform, your products that are in between. Yeah. That's awesome. It really like comes it. to life, you know. It really helps also to, uh, yeah, create a sustainable world. Uh, in this case, I mean, 80%, that's, that's a huge number. Okay, cool. Well, Johannes, that does shade some lights on what you guys are doing as partners. Uh, we'll add some link if people are looking more information about Copa Data. Thank you. And, uh, well, thanks for watching the IoT Show, guys, and uh, see you soon.